everybody, welcome to the how-to tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to do mathing. That is the verb of math. Granny knows because he's good at English. Granny's also good at math because Granny got a degree of math from UCLA or ugly capital of lame arithmetic. Let's start with the basics, shall we? Counting. Counting. Starts with one, and you should have enough context by that. Let's go on to addition. Brady's just kidding. The next number is two, then three, then fourteen, then ninety-two, then eight, then thirty-seven. And based off the pattern, you should be able to figure it out. Okay, after that, let's go to addition. 3 plus 4, what's that you say? Really easy. Nope. Well, it's not what you think it is. It's actually 34. You just add the two numbers together. Good. You are getting good at this. Now, we also have some exceptions. 1 plus 3 equals 4. And 2 plus 2 equals 5. Granny doesn't know why. If you want to ask Granny, don't, because Granny doesn't know, okay? I uh, let Granny erase that. Because Granny is going on to subtraction. Uh, Granny thinks that's okay. Um, let's see. What is 90 minus 2? So, it's kind of like the opposite of addition because it's actually... Two, nine, zero. See what we did there? 290. Simple. Now he's going to multiplication. What is four times two? No, four times 20. What's four times 20? Well, first you do addition. So you get 420. And then you get, and then you get one below that. So you put four, Nine. Oh, Brandy can't do math. Four, one, nine. And you subtract that. In, in, in multiplication, it's weird, okay? You get one. And then you add, remember the exception earlier? One plus three equals uh, four. This is the same with our every multiplication thing. So, four plus uh, times three equals... Uh, 4 and 5 times 5 equals 4 because you go 25 minus 24 is 1 plus 3. Okay, let Granny talk about division, which is one of the final things we'll be doing before we learn algebra. Granny likes to say alligator bro because it's easier. Okay. Division. What is uh, 90 divided by 2? Well, this one is kind of controversial because you have to add hair, and you add a nose, and a mouth. Then you rate the person on how good they look. Granny give that person a 7. Granny likes to smile. So 90 divided by 2 is 7. <laughs> okay. Now, there's uh, a weird type of number thingy called fractiones. That's how you say it in French. Yeah. When you're good at French, English, and math. Fraction. You put a line right here. That means dividing. So how many fours are in 3? Really weird eye. It's like a cyclops. Granny gives it a two. So there are uh, four twos and three. And placeholders. That's what we need to know about algebra. Algebra. Okay. X. What is X? Represent something. It could be x. You could equal 
18. X could equal 42. X could equal cabbage. Or even X could equal blue. But you know what could blow your mind? X could even equal seven. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Now let's solve this problem that we have, which is what we've been working to. So this is Brandy's age right here. X represents Brandy's age. But we don't know what Brandy's age is, so let's start. Five times uh, negative eight. Oh yeah, negatives. There's eight letters in negative, so you just add that to here. So five times 88 plus 92. 88 plus 92 is 8,892. And five times that is four. Then on this side, we have two x. Um, okay. Um, negative five is um is uh the oh no, negative five plus eight is fifty eight times ninety eight. Oh, we need you really quick. Let's just say it's 2, because we already did that. 2 plus 8, 28. 58 is 4. 42 plus, oh, 2 plus 2 is 5, remember? So, um, 42 plus 5 is 425. And now we need to add this right here, 88x. Eh, whatever, where do we do it? To this side. So we're adding it to this side so we get 88x. <laughs> or we could get, we could also get, yeah, 88xx. 88xx is what we get. So now on this side, all we're left with is 4. Oh yeah, and there's also 2x, so we should add that to this side. 802xxx. Um, 4. So we're going to add 4 to this side. Um, wait. No, we need to add negative 4 because you add it to both sides. That's how algebra works. So, 84. You add it to this side. And you get 844. In algebra, there's this weird thing where you see how many 882xxx are in 8444 or 4. The brain doesn't know how many 4s is. And you have 1. So, one, so brownie equals 1. But you say, brownie's not 1. Yeah, that's because in all algebra problems, you, uh, you subtract, you do some weird thing, you subtract 27. So if you subtract 27, it's 271, and then you have to add a negative sign. So, there it is. We figured out brownie equals x, and brownie is age is negative 271. Brownie hope you learn a lot. When you go to school, you will learn so much more than your classmates, and you'll be ahead of your grade. Thank you!